So today's video is quite an important video to me and the main reason behind this is that TLC was talked about a lot at the start of the year for Ark Survival Evolved. The devs have said that it's in their future plans but as of recent it's gone quite quiet and there's lots of stuff being released, new content, loads of fixes and stuff for the game but I feel like TLC is huge and when I did uh, game suggestions it got so many votes and it was really high up and you know the devs responded saying they thought it was a good idea and everything but it's been a little bit quiet. Some people have recently made some models which look fantastic and I'll be showing you guys all of that in today's video. But I'm also going to be going through loads of different ones that I really want to recommend that get a TLC. And I want you guys to let me know which ones you'd like to see. I know we've done it in past videos before. And I'm also going to have a poll at the end of this video which you can vote. And I'm going to, as I always do, send it to the devs and show how many people do or don't want a TLC if they see it's that important. But when I recently saw some of these new models, it made me think how awesome and how exciting the past TLCs were. And really, some of the dinos in Ark that still looks like such early access dinos and could do with a change. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Drop a like if you do agree. Let's try and smash over 700 likes for today's video. Subscribe if you're new and let's get in with the video. Now this was the main reason why I decided to make this because it's been a long time since we've talked about TLC because obviously I haven't been able to get any information but Valgero, well the Valgero creator said this is how the Kano should look like. This was made by Godzilla in the Ark Modern Discord so shout out to Godzilla. Maybe you can use this as a TLC. That would be awesome at Survivor the Ark at Zen. Zen is the mod community manager. Now I'm going to show you guys the picture of the Kano up close. Now how awesome does this really look. I still feel like there could be even a few more things added to the Kano. Maybe its teeth could look a, li a little bit more frightening or something. But when I saw this, it made me think, imagine if this became real and we had that, f you know, the Kano TLC has been talked about for so long and that's why I'm surprised it hasn't come yet. And it is just crazy to think that it is not here at this moment in time. But let me know what you think about this model in the comment section down below. Would you like to see this come? Because I really feel like the Kano is one of the biggest dinos that need a TLC right now. The next one I wanted to go on to is these are big are like big suggestions by people to shout out to everyone. I mean, some of these have been years ago and stuff. That shows how long it's been since TLC. But this was a TLC suggestion, which is the one I've talked about for so long, which is the Megalodon breaching ability. There's lots of other more stuff about it as well, not just the breaching ability. You guys know, um, you know, it can only be done on deep water because you need momentum for launch and also to avoid dying near the beaches. Being able to leap out of the water and do a leap attack with the megalodons imagine how more scary i know that probably doesn't make any sense but you know it would be to have a megalodon to jump out the water i feel like sharks need a bit more of a threat in arc and you know there's it's always the thing at the beginning that you're scared of but the megalodons don't seem ferocious enough and to think that out of any way you could all of a sudden like how the raptor pounces on you all of a sudden be caught in the air by a megalodon and you, you get like a little bit of a chance to escape it would be fantastic also another different abilities that they want is consent blood like a tlc dire wolf um can uh, like have similar things to the Allosaurus uh, and and like and the one for me which was a slightly bigger model is something I've talked about for a long long time. The Megalodon needs to be bigger and so do a lot of the other sea creatures. Now I understand that when you know the sometimes the sea might not be big enough for these, but I feel like you can, that's why people talk about a TLC for the ocean to make it bigger and involved a little bit more because of how massive that was back in the prehistoric times. Now the next one is the Plesiosaurus, another water creature. So this person says, so I've been thinking about the P Plesiosaurus TLC, what it could be done to giving it some new life. This is going to sound a little bit nutty, but hear me out. So an old uh, idea about these animals is that they would drag themselves onto land and to lay eggs. Why don't we have it so the Plesiosaur can do this sort of thing? It could become something, you know, that could be on, on the land and on water because it kind of reminds me of a little bit of a crazy turtle, if you know what I mean. And I just think this would be a fantastic creature to get a TLC. Now, these ideas and stuff um, that these people are saying doesn't have to be the thing that is it's just suggestions you guys might think differently. But it's just something to get out there and recommend because I really feel like this does need to happen. Now, 
Again, a huge one. This was always my number two. The Mammoth needs a TLC. Now, if I'm not wrong, the Mammoth got a TLC on the mobile. I could be wrong. I don't play Ark Mobile. I downloaded it and didn't really play it that much. But in my opinion, I feel like the Mammoth needs a TLC. And, and um, this person, I'm not too sure. Um, ideas for appearance. The Mammoth's tusks make it look really ugly. I think it'll be a little more clean if they were just a bit more simple. I, I, no spikes. I mean, I'm different to that. I think in my in my idea um, to make the tusks huge, to make them more ferocious would be fantastic for the mammoth. Um, a platform saddle could be interesting, but you know, as I said, these ideas are just other people you might think differently, like the same for me there. I would love to see the mammoths a little bit, I know they're like friendly creatures and stuff, and, and, and that's what I love, but I feel like making them even more powerful is something the mammoths would be great for. The next one is the Bronto. Now, the Bronto TLC is something, again, it's been exactly the same um, since the beginning. There's rumours that the Brachiosaurus was going to come to the console. I have no idea on that because if you guys know, um, you may have seen at the beginning of the video, it's now six days until the new reveal. So we don't know what is coming from that reveal. But... I know if we do see new dinos, I think we're going to be seeing new dinosaurs. That's going to be great because they're going to be fresh and new. But I don't want to forget about the original dinos from the beginning getting these TLCs. Because imagine Ark with up-to-date um, constant TLCs to make the old dinos look good. And then we're getting new ones at the same time. That is an Ark I want to be a part of. The next thing is there's not really any um, like recommendations for the Mosasaurus, but I personally believe we should. the Mosasaurus needs to look a little bit more aggressive. I feel like it looks too... Uh, I mean, I know you guys are probably going to think I'm stupid by saying it looks friendly, but in my opinion, I feel like when you see the one from Jurassic World... Um, I know this actually wasn't meant to be the biggest creature, but I feel like just following that would be great. Having a really scary looking armoured plate, sort of, you know, like, just similar to Jurassic World would be fantastic. Let me know what you guys think about that. Quetzal TLC, um, this is again, it's just a random suggestion from someone that I just um, got off the internet, so shout out to everyone. Um, the RG rework is amazing and I like it, but I feel like it's made the Quetzal not as useful. Um, I'd love to see the Quetz get a rework to make them usable again, stuff like that. Again, I'm I was a fan of this. These are the ones that I've picked out personally. I feel like the Quetz could really do with a big TLC. There's so many dinos that could just be made a lot more. I know I keep saying the word ferocious, but it's kind of true because you want, now you've played Ark so much and like the same as me I feel like I kind of control the dinos more than the dinos control me if you know what I mean like in the sense of like I've played the game so long I know how it works and they don't seem as scary to me I mean I, when I start from the beginning they always will be and there's still some that I am a little bit you know I don't want to be messing with that but I still feel like you control the dinos if you play it more than they control you and I feel like there needs to be that more these are dinosaurs and we are survivors and they are a lot more powerful than us if you understand the next one I've gone for is the well the final one I've gone for is the scorpion I think the scorpion could do with a bigger uh, model um, I feel like you could make again more ferocious I know I said that again but it is true I just make it the, the, th the thought sorry not the fact of a huge scorpion coming over to me, uh, me and uh, coming over to you I know some people are saying they think it's gonna uh, the snake the giant snake or the titan uh, titan of boa could do with a TLC but I still feel like they could but they're still quite Quite good in the game they're quite scary they're the ones that have, I've always been that they're the most annoying but powerful creatures whereas the scorpion is so easy to kill it's like you could get hit by it like five times and you and that's the last time you know you'd be going down on the last hit but they miss quite a lot they're not as you know they're just a bit easy if you know what I mean and that would be fantastic to come to the game now, this is where I have brought this up for you guys. You know I love to do my polls because I find out a lot of information. And then once I find out a lot of information, I end up showing you guys... Um I end up letting you guys know in the comment section where I post this around and stuff and then I send it off to the wildcard devs. Sometimes we get replies, sometimes we don't, but I'm quite close with said the league community manager and I want you guys to vote in my opinion, well, well, not in my opinion, I want you guys to vote in your opinion what, it, uh, what it's going to be, but I, what I was going to say is in my opinion I am going to be voting yes. 
Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. As always, if you are excited to see a future of TLC, because it is in Wildcard's plans, as we know so far, let's try and hit that 700 like target. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. See you guys later.